Well, hi y'all, welcome back. On today's video, I'm gonna share with you a healthy lentil soup recipe that both me and my family adore during these cooler winter months. I'm Tammy Hackman, and this is my Grow Fit with Tammy channel where I share with you my tips, tricks, and how-tos that have kept me feeling fit and fabulous as I approach 50. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button as I release my videos each Thursday, a combination of lifestyle and yoga routines, some breath work to help you feel fit and fabulous no matter what stage of your journey you're on. All right, let's get cooking. This lentil soup will be ready for you in no time at all. I usually have most of the ingredients stocked, if not all of them, and I'll tell you what to keep on hand if you don't already have it. So to start, it's a recipe that I acquired back in 1994 from a chef at a hotel over in Macau, which at the time was still a Portuguese colony right near Hong Kong. This recipe had so few ingredients, I couldn't believe all the flavor that came from it, but that's the way it often is, the simple, helpful, good ingredients, and you've got a good recipe. To make this, you're gonna need some brown lentils and then onion, carrot, and celery are going to be what you start off with, a quick saute. To that, if you choose, you can add some meat like bacon, chorizo, pancetta, just to add a little bit extra smokiness and texture. I don't put much at all, just a bit to flavor it. And then you're gonna need some beef stock. If you don't have that on hand, I throw in vegetable or chicken and no one notices the difference, but it's a subtle, subtle complexity to it. And then from there, it's salt, pepper, and some potatoes near the end, which you grate in just to thicken it up a bit. But I also like to use my new potatoes, cube them, and give a little more texture. To help it up even a bit more, I throw in several handfuls of spinach or kale to get my greens in for the family. Now, let's get started with this. In this pot over here, I have my lentils cooking. So here they are, they're cooked and ready to go. Now I'm gonna go to the kitchen, put these in another dish because I'm gonna need this pan to get sauteing. Okay, I'm back and I've brought my olive oil and my pancetta to get us started. So let me get this pot cranking. And as that heats up, I'll get this ready. Now, as I said, a vegan option, which is what we did the first two weeks in January. We gave our bodies a little detox and a break from all the rich, decadent, and heavy foods we were enjoying over the Christmas holidays. For today's recipe, it's February. We're gonna add a little smoked pancetta into the pan. Let's see if we got it hot enough. Ah, there's the sizzle, okay. In goes the pancetta. And this will be my rubbish bowl. And for the chopped veggies. Now, since I'm using meat today, I just wanna fry this up and see how much fat I'm left with. I don't want a lot of fat from the meat. I prefer to use a little drizzle of olive oil for my veggies. Okay, and while we're waiting, I will move forward. Got my onion, nice big knife. And once I get chopping, the chihuahuas are at hand. <laughs> they are game for anything. Well, not the onion, they'll try it, but fruits and veggies, I usually share. Because I want my dogs healthy too, yes I do. Okay, we are back to cooking. After getting my carrot, onion, and celery all chopped up, and you can do it as coarse or as fine as your family likes, my only strong recommendation is that you spend some time sauteing at this point. This will make or break your soup. I'm a Cajun from New Orleans, and I know that when we make our gumbos and our stews, we cook down our veg really well at the beginning. 
because that's where you get the nice flavor. And I don't like biting into crunchy vegetables in certain types of dishes. If it's a stir fry or a salad, by all means. But in my soups, I like it nice and tender and flavorful. My veggies have some color and are simmered nicely, so I'm ready to add in my other ingredients. In go the lentils. That had been drained. Love it. Smells delish. And now I can add my potatoes. This is only gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes now. And I'll put in the meat and my broth. There was no beef broth at our store. So today it's chicken. Sometimes it's chicken free chicken broth. <laughs> which means it's veggie broth. Today it's chicken. I didn't even have beef bouillon to put in because the one at the store had too many additives. I saw enhancer and thought, oh heck no, I'm not bringing that home. I think I'll add another carton because this liquid will cook out. And I used an entire package of dried lentils for today's recipe. To this, I'm gonna add my salt, pink Himalayan sea salt. About half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. I'm not sure how salty my broth is gonna be, so I'll taste it just before it's done, but I know these potatoes will soak up the flavor. And a lot of black pepper. Don't use your pepper grinder when your, your dish is steaming really well because it'll get coagulated trying to catch it before I get it up to the boil. There we are. I'm off to the kitchen. I'm gonna get one more carton of broth to bring back with me. As you may have noticed, this recipe is not about precision. It's a soup. You're gonna flavor it, get the ingredients in there, and then let it simmer. The last thing I'm gonna add is my handfuls of spinach and let it cook down just a smidge before I serve it. Look, I know it can be a challenge planning your meals. That's why I wanted to start bringing you a few recipes. And if you'd like, join my Facebook page, Grow Fit with Tammy. I'd be happy to have you join the family, join the group. We will share recipes, ideas, tips, and tricks that we've tried and tested and know that they're good. I want you to have the community and the support that you need to become your fittest, healthiest self. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Lentil soup, healthy and delicious. And it's not so precise, you can make this. Get in your kitchen and just do it. Let me know in the comments below how your family liked it and any changes you might have made because who knows, I might want to add those as well. Till next time, bye y'all.